Hi everyone, I'm Zev from the Verification IP Technology team in Israel in the Cadence. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you about today is an interesting use model of our verification IPs. In many cases, when you're verifying a complex system, you would have a device that has multiple connections to the outside world in different protocols. Say you have an Ethernet interface, a USB interface, and so on. In many cases, what you'd like to do is drive a lot of traffic through uh, the device uh, without really caring through which of the interfaces that data comes in. And so it would be interesting for such scenarios to describe those in a protocol independent fashion. One way you can do this is by using UVM System Verilog's uh, generic payload class. So support for TLM2 defines a UVM TLM generic payload class which you can now use as your sequence item. So your sequences would actually look something like UVM do with generic payload with a bunch of constraints on its fields which are things like data, address, and command nothing which is protocol specific. So you can have a library of such high-level scenarios that focus on the payload you want to transfer through the system without caring about the protocol. Once you have such a library, all you need to do is use standard layering technique in UVM to drive it on top of a specific VIP. So let's say we're going to focus on the USB uh, connection this time. We're going to take a USB uh, VIP, connect to the DUT. That USB VIP, from Cadence of course, will have its own sequencer, a USB sequencer. What we'll do is we're going to layer our GP sequencer on top. So our GP sequencer here will action will uh, uh, activate uh, the sequences here and generate uh, GPs, generic payload items, and the layering inside the USB sequencer will take care of the translation. So the uh, um, USB sequencer here will serve as if it was the driver. It will pull items from the GP sequencer and translate them from GP to a USB transaction, drive it to the device, and uh, continue. Tomorrow we can apply the same technique to uh, the Ethernet interface and do a similar layering there. So we create a generic a, a library of sequences, we can reuse them on different protocols, we can even use the extensions that the generic payload class provides to add a protocol specific a flags to the layering a translation whenever needed, but we can still retain our a, a reuse of this high-level scenario. Um, that's all. I hope you found this useful. Look at our website for more information and thank you.